Howdy. I'm Parker Mutt, and I hate black people. Accusations against working class and middle class whites, and especially white males, have increased in intensity and viciousness. They're the worst. They're stinky, and they just suck. They're just bad people. If you notice over there is a box of Jordans. The favorite pair of shoes for a black man. With whites being responsible for all of the ills of blacks, you have had two very different reactions among whites. One of those is the reaction of last summer, where members of the white elites were banging their foreheads in the ground in apology, saying it's our fault, we've been racist, we haven't realized it, but we have, it is systemic racism. We saw an awful lot of that. Meanwhile, you had the much larger population of white middle class and working class people who were not insulted into agreement. <laughs> they, they were hearing these accusations of how terrible they are, and they're saying to themselves, wait a minute, I have been friendly and respectful. I'm going to show you what I think of a black man. All n- so even with the bleeping, I think you get the basic idea of what that video was about. It was posted willingly by that student who recorded it and then posted it because he wanted people to knew, know what he thought of uh, people who weren't quite like him in this country. And uh, what's interesting about that is that it's racist, it's also incredibly violent. It's exactly the sort of thing that you'd imagine we would find out about after that kid went through a high school or a college shooting uh, as many people as possible and we'd wish that we would have known. So that video was released and eventually the student was actually kicked out of their school, but the lag was significant. So the student at Cardinal Newman High School in Columbia, South Carolina, uh, eventually in late July was allowed to withdraw without before being expelled. But the videos were actually found in early May. So months went by, months, where the kid was allowed to continue going to that school, even though we know that he had weapons, he despised black people and could have at any time gone and shot as many people as he wanted. Thank you very much for watching my PSA. And now just imagine him in a crowd acting out the fantasy that he so wants to act out. Yep. Uh, but again, white supremacy is a hoax. That message brought to you by Tucker Carlson. Um, and look, not that it matters, any student doing this should be a concern because that's a future school shooter right there. Um, but he is, he's connected to important people. He's the grandson of uh, disgraced Republican political kingmaker Richard Quinn, uh, who is himself now facing decades in prison as part of a years long corruption investigation of GOP state lawmakers. Um, he was also, by the way, uh, a political strategist who worked with Henry McMaster, Lindsey Graham, Strom Thurmond, and John McCain, as well as Ronald Reagan. In fact, he worked with Lindsey Graham as of just three years ago. Um, maybe he doesn't share any of the views of his deranged son, but maybe his son learned them somewhere. Maybe he learned them at home. <laughs> 